Hi, this is Lee. Um, someone had a question and I was trying to describe how in words how to do this and it doesn't really make much sense in words so I thought I would do a video to show. Now this person had a shape that they had drawn using different line segments and just the line segments here are shown in different colors uh, just to make it easier to see what the question was and what they wanted to do was fill this in so that it's a solid shape. Now, um, one way to do this, I think, would well, the, the reason that they were asking is they um, selected everything and just tried to do path union. So path union. And what you see is it doesn't fill it into a solid shape. It makes it a bunch of little closed paths. And the reason for that, if I highlight all of these and give each one of them a fill instead of just a stroke, you can see that it makes a little shape, but it's only like a little a little crescent, and they don't really overlap enough to let you union them. Okay, so one way to do this is that you could just select everything, change the stroke to black. I'm holding down shift and clicking on black. And then you could just use the paint bucket. Make sure you're on visible colors. Your threshold doesn't really matter. Grow shrink, have it to be zero. Okay, then you can just fill in and then you get your shape. Now you have these two little lines here. Two ways to deal with that. You could take that line segment and just change it, you know, or you could take this and you could just um, delete these parts and then, you know, adjust your nodes accordingly. All right. Okay, so that's one way to do it. Now, let me get it back to different colors. Another way you can do this is we can join these nodes, these line segments together. And the way I usually do that is I'm on the node tool and I'll click on one that shows me the nodes. I'll hold down shift and click on the next one down here and that shows me the nodes on that one. I'm going to zoom in so you can see. There's two nodes that overlap here from both of those line segments. If I click and drag over those, those are both selected. And I'll just go up here to this, this tool. It says join selected nodes and it shows the little picture shows two nodes becoming one node. And I'll click that and that has joined those two line segments together. Now I can hold down shift and do the same thing, uh, select this purple one, click and drag to select those two end nodes and use that tool again. And then I can do the same, just select these two, click and drag and join those two together. <clears throat> All right, now if I was to fill both of these with a color, you can see they do overlap. So if I do path union, which is shift control plus and a keyboard shortcut. Now you can see that that has given you the shape that you're looking for. I can turn the, the stroke off. Okay. Okay. So that's just one. It's a tool up when you're on the, uh, the node tool here that just this one right here, join selected nodes. And you just have to be sure to select those two nodes that are butted right up next to each other and you can just join them together. And then if you do that, you can get your shape, um, to be a solid piece. So hope that helps. Let me know.